Prescott Van Meyer here, sommelier from home. What an episode we have for you today. Big fan request for our holiday season. Malort from the Windy City, Chai Town, bringing us this very special beverage that is terrifying me. But come on, how bad can it be? This time of year, it comes in a special festive box. It has a malornament inside to hang on your tree, remind you of the pain of the experience. It says here on the box, it's the perfect gift for friends and enemies. It's like Christmas morning, let's open up the box. Have the Malort liqueur right there. Got the symbols, Jepson's Malort, Chicago, USA. Very nice. I don't think that's glass, I think it's plastic, that's okay. Spend all your money on creating your product there, Malort. And I did receive this particular bottle from Brad and Sarah from Chicago. Thank you so much for sending it to me. What a treat. We were having trouble finding it, and they came through and sent it right to me to review. No way to get out of it. Not the fanciest label I've ever seen, you know? Kind of feels hand stuck on with little stickers. Jepson's Malort has the aroma and full-bodied flavor of an unusual botanical. It's a little odd that they would put unusual botanical on their bottle with no specifics. Just unusual. That's, all right. Let's open it up. Ooh, eyes instantly watering. Ooh, fish stew of some kind. Some sewagey fish stew. Something old in the back of the fridge. It's been there a long time. You don't quite remember what it was, but it had some onions in it. Like stagnant pond water near Chernobyl. Skunk, like highway skunk? Not your neighborhood skunk. I mean highway, roadkill. Been out there cooking for a while. All right, folks, you asked for it, you got it. Let's try it. <sighs> it's bile. It's like, like a grizzly bear's bile after he's eaten a lot of baby seals. <sighs> Let's give it another swig. <laughs> it's bad, folks. <laughs> it's bad. It doesn't help. It doesn't do anything. So what, what, what's going on, Chicago? Windy City, is it the cold? Is it the miserable conditions that make you think this is, this is what you want to do with your life? You want to drink this? You want to put this in your mouth? You people should be ashamed of yourself, especially you, Jepson. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's give it another swirl. It's like, uh, like they take the bitterest hops on the planet, let them rot for a little bit, and they mixed it with uh, dog hair. Oh, I would pair this with winters that last eight or nine months with a Chicago dog and a deep dish pizza slammed together and then left in a dumpster for a week. Which sounds gross, but, you know, that's what I would pair it with. Do you hate yourself? This is the drink for you. Do you hate others? This is the drink for them. <laughs> On a scale of zero to 100, if it's somebody you hate, I would give this a 91. If it's somebody you love, then you don't love them that much if you're thinking of this drink. Boy, it's that aftertaste that gets you. I would imagine this is what asbestos tastes like. Probably still more bitter than asbestos. Well, thanks for watching. Happy holidays to everyone. And uh, for everyone who recommended Malort, you're on the naughty list. <laughs> Real naughty.